tornado recovery continues in Iowa as FEMA makes their way through neighborhoods like this. I'm neighborhood reporter Molly Hudson in Crescent, Iowa, where I went along with FEMA as they went door to door. Iowa doesn't currently have a disaster center, so in the meantime, FEMA's disaster survivor assistance teams are going through neighborhoods impacted by last month's tornadoes. Every county that we can that the emergency managers tell us that was most affected and try to register those residents. FEMA stopped by the home of Sherry Dolezal. She wasn't home. That's because she was working at her coffee shop in Council Bluffs. It's where she was before she closed for the storms on April 26th, too. I put on my Facebook page, I'm going to close early at 2 o'clock because of the storms. She went home, watched the tornado hit the airport, and with her family quickly went to safety when the storm hit her home. The siding ripped off the house, windows broken, um, the blue metal, that is actually very thick galvanized steel that is custom fabricated that has been there for 40 years just ripped and shredded off the house. Now in the weeks since, she's working on repairs and many have offered to help. My husband built that home and it's, it's, it's got a lot of damage. And I'm gonna be honest, insurance company's probably not gonna pay for it all. While she says it has been devastating, she remains dedicated to her business, a building and treat that runs deep in her family. I'm gonna sell coffee and I will pay for it myself. And that's just how it's gonna go. And I don't care if I have to work every day 24 hours a day to pay for my home to get fixed. I will. FEMA hopes to get neighbors like Sherry registered to reach further assistance. Register with us even if you think you might not need it. You know, it can't, it can't hurt at all. Um, see what resources are available to you so that you don't have to go through this process alone. As FEMA continues to go door to door, it's important to know they will have ID badges. They don't ask for money and they don't take money and they will know your registration number. In Crescent, Iowa, I'm Molly Hudson, your neighborhood reporter.